Welcome back to my channel. I am about to head out. I need to run a few errands. One of the main things that I'm doing today is getting some fabric because I am teaching myself how to sew. Well, YouTube is teaching me how to sew, technically. Actually, this month was my, one of my goals was to learn how to like make a pillowcase just because I feel like that's like the next step in like this sewing like education but um yeah let's head out all right so the colors i'm looking for is light brown white and plush pink this one is a late night the streets filled with cheap limousines boys and girls dress up and play as a dream to think so I'm in Joanne's right now and they actually got some deals going on in here. I'm not really sure what that about but I'm, I'm mad. I want like a plush pink type of like cloth, like material. So I think this is super cute. Like, like that. You guys see the design? Cause it's like roses. Like you, you're too scared to crawl to the I'll show you guys the fabric that I got. I got this 100% cotton two yards. It's like a you guys can see it, right? It's like an off white, a white one. This is just gonna go under the beige one, and then I got this one, which is super cute. This is my favorite. Can you tell because my face freaking lit up? But this is my favorite out of all of the fabric that I got today. I just hope that it's enough. I hope I don't ruin it too. Like, if you choose, don't live alone for So it comes with an instruction book and then it comes with a few tools. Soon I'm going to learn what these are. And then it comes with the foot pusher thing. <laughs> so that's what it came with. I think we're going to try to thread. Wait, do I have any freaking thread for it? Oh wait, no. So here's the thing y'all. I don't know if I told y'all about this, but my boyfriend's grandmother is the goat i didn't tell y'all that she's the goat because she has all of this freaking sewing stuff because this right here this table sewing machine it's a sewing machine okay yes yeah, huge but it's a sewing machine she has like all look at all this thread oh that's not it and there's also still some thread in there too right here look at all that they got needles or whatever the pants pants not needles it has more thread we got some scissors oh these are like wonky i mean the uh design look at that okay so i just did a little research and i found out that i can use any of the thread any of it and it's looking like she got some really good stuff in here I think I'm gonna just practice threading the machine and then I think that'll be our lesson for today. Not really. We got this. We got this. I'm gonna just put on a video to show me. I do have like that manual though. Maybe I'll try the manual. Is I guess turn it on. The little light came on. That was cute. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do is pull up the uh, spool pin, which is I believe it's this one, right? Her to click and then I will get the thread I will put it on there all right I need a video for the, <laughs> for the rest of this because and given what it's supposed to get so the first thing you're gonna do is pull this up 
put the thread on wrap it around this loop here when you wrap it you want it to come towards you first go around and pull to the right get a bobbin and stick the thread through the hole at the top of the bobbin once you do that you put it on like this little stick pull it to the right turn it until you hear that like click this guy You'll hold that string up at the top, cut the top of that thread, push on the presser foot very lightly, keep going until the bobbin slows down spinning. Once it's full, cut the thread that's closer to you, so you can cut it a few inches to the left. And then after that, you'll take the bobbin, and then you'll move, remove that piece, and you want to just slightly pull it towards you to move it. Get the bobbin, you put it inside. There's a little hook. Thing. like it's a little sever thing if you guys can see what I'm talking about point it to it for you you'll just get that thread push it through that hook like so and then you'll just grab that thread pull it the opposite way and then you'll put the piece back where it goes you the top threading what you'll do is keep the thread where it is and you'll just grab it and then you'll just put it through this slide hook go down this first line go under loop it around that little Thing right there right you go under loop it around go on top at this point there's like this metal hook inside there and you always want that hook to be at the top and so when you're threading it you go up and then you thread around that hook inside there so you go up come back around and go back down you're doing that all in that same slot right there there's like this flat slot grab the thread and you want to put it in between there what i like to do when i thread my needle i put my finger back there so i can see exactly where the beginning of the thread needs to go turn the little knob thing on the back of the machine top thread you want to have in your left hand is going to bring up a loop in your left hand you'll just pull your thread and then you'll just unravel it and then you grab the top thread and you put it through the presser foot thing first is I need to clean off this table the sewing table I'm thinking that I'm going to actually flip out the other side of it because it's like a like it's a bigger table then we're going to get started on the sewing I'm going to watch a YouTube video to show me the steps while recording I can't wait we are ready to start I am a little nervous I think I'm getting nervous now okay it's fine <laughs> the sewing finally i'm about to do this pillowcase the envelope pillowcase i am just ironing down the edges so i won't have to worry about it like it won't be so difficult when i um start sewing <laughs> You know what i got common sense so <laughs> i'm gonna just use that this was definitely a, a learning process i feel like it would be so much easier if i did take a class for it but if i can learn it on youtube then why go to class for it you know yeah i love you babe. i love you free i need a break <laughs> y'all so i am done sewing i guess i'm going to trim the little corners now which i'm afraid because i kind of 
sewed on the corners so hopefully <laughs> shit don't come apart I think I need to go ahead and cut some of this excess fabric because it's a lot we're just going to flip it inside out this is the moment of truth y'all this is the moment of truth. Here it is. It's the pillowcase. Okay, now we just need to see if it actually fits on the pillow. working pillowcase I made an actual pillow case or pillow cover <laughs> 